Today we're going to go over two of the Python scripts that you can download and utilize with the new version of Cyril. And they come from SETI Astro, Cosmic Clarity, Sharpen, and Denoising. They're both AI-based tools that do a fantastic job on sharpening and denoising your image. Both scripts can be used on linear or non-linear data, meaning you can use them on data that you have not stretched yet, as well as data that you have stretched. It's up to you, play with it, see which one gets you the best results. And generally, for me anyways, I tend to do my sharpening first. I think that's probably the best approach, and then do the denoising. But again, play with it and see what gets you the better results. So let's check out the two scripts. My name is Rich, and you're watching Deep Space Astro. So before we get started, I just want to show you how to install the two Python scripts, both for denoise and for sharpening, as well as show you what you're going to see if you don't have it configured for Cosmic Clarity, because you do need to download Cosmic Clarity and configure Serial to use it. So to get the two scripts, you want to come over to your burger menu, click on Get Scripts, and then down the bottom is the list of our scripts. And if we scroll through... You'll see right here we have Cosmic Clarity Sharpen, so put a tick box next to that one, and then Cosmic Clarity Denoise, and you're going to select that one as well, and then just click Apply. It'll download and install the script for you, so if we come over into Scripts, and then Python Scripts, you'll see the two scripts right here. We'll start with Denoise, so if I run Denoise, again, I have not configured this for Cosmic Clarity yet. You'll see down the bottom where it says Cosmic Clarity Executable, there's nothing there, so we'll need to set that. If you run Cosmic Clarity Sharpen, it'll actually give you a warning that the executable hasn't been configured yet. So a little bit different than the, the denoise one, but it's the same concept. You'll need to set your executable here before you can use it. So we'll close this up and I'll show you guys where to download it and get it ready to be configured within Cyril. All right, so the two Python scripts that we're gonna go over today, Cosmic Clarity Sharpen and Cosmic Clarity Denoise, are just interfaces to the Cosmic Clarity application itself. So because of that, you'll need to download Cosmic Clarity and get it configured within Serial. So head over to setiastro.com. I'll leave the link down in the description and then click on Astro Programs and Cosmic Clarity. There's versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So right here under Initial Cosmic Clarity Download, just click on the folder link. I'm running Windows, but like I said, there's a Mac version, Linux, and Apple Silicon. I'm on Windows, so you can either double click on the file name or come over to the ellipses on the right hand side and click download. You get a warning that it couldn't scan it for viruses. That's fine. Just click download anyways. It'll prompt you for where you want to download it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to hit cancel. Just wanted to show you how to grab your copy. These files are, are quite large. So the Windows one is three and a half gig. So it'll give us some time to finish once it's finished downloading then come over to your downloads directory this is a zip file so just if you right click and say extract all and hit extract we're going to let that finish and then we'll come right back and move it over to a, a permanent location on my hard drive all right now the extraction is complete i'm just going to double click the folder that it created for me and there's another one right inside of it and I'm just going to move this from my downloads directory and put it in an area on my hard drive where I keep all of my utilities. So in this particular case, my C drive, I have a folder called Astrophotography. And then inside of there, I have one called SETI Astro, where I also have the SETI Astro suite. And I'm just going to paste Cosmic Clarity into there. Now we're ready to configure the scripts for the location of Cosmic Clarity. So back over into Serial. Uh, I have an image open right now. We'll just put it into Auto Stretch and we'll start with cosmic clarity sharpen so let's go up into python scripts and we'll go into cosmic clarity sharpen now you have to specify where the cosmic clarity sharpen executable is you'll have to run your sharpening as well for that path to remain in place so meaning i can't just select the executable and expect it to be there without actually running through the whole process so just click your browse button and i'm going to go over to where i moved cosmic clarity City Astro, Cosmic Clarity. Scroll down for your look for your executables. This one right here, City Astro Cosmic Clarity. This is your sharpening. So double click it to select it. And we'll just go over the settings here. So sharpening, this is effectively deconvolution. So stellar is for the stars. Non-stellar would be for your objects within the image. So you can do one or the other or both. If you have a GPU, it'll use that for processing. 
clear input directory. So before we move forward, let's talk about what this exactly means. So if I come over into my Cosmic Clarity folder, you can see we have an input folder here. The way this works is the script will take your image that you have loaded in Cyril and it'll save it as a TIFF file and it'll place it in this input directory. Once that TIFF is in place, then the sharpening will happen on that TIFF. And then the script will bring it back into Cyril, converting it back over into a fit file for you. So what this option is saying is to clear this input directory. Otherwise, every time you use the script, the TIFF files will be left behind in the input directory. And I believe if you don't keep that cleared out, every time you run the script, it'll process everything that's in that input directory. So unless you have good reason to hold on to that TIFF file, I would always recommend just ticking clear input directory. This is one of the things I talked to the serial developer that put this script together in a future version. And I'm not positive this is going to happen, but this may actually come in as enabled by default. And then the second thing, there may be an additional option or it may be included with this one to also clear the output directory. And again, if we come back over to Cosmic Clarity, there's an output directory. And every time you run the script, it'll take your sharpened image and your denoised image, same thing with the denoising script, and it'll put those files in your output directory. Over time, this is going to fill up. Currently, there's no way of clearing the output directory directly from the script. So make sure you keep an eye on your output directory and delete the files after you're done processing within Cyril. Otherwise, this can be one of those hidden things that you didn't know about taking up hard drive space, you know, over weeks and months as you're using the script. Again, that may possibly be an option in the future version of the script. Not sure yet, but just wanted to make you guys aware of it. Next two options are the amount of stellar sharpening that you want and the amount of non-stellar sharpening that you want. Again, stellar is your stars. Non-stellar would be the galaxies in my case. I'm just going to leave them at default, just like everything else. Play with them, see what gets you the best results, and then just click apply. It'll take a few minutes. You can watch it over on the console screen, and it'll let you know when it's done. So I'm going to pause the video, and we'll be right back. So sharpening is done, again, both on Stellar and non-Stellar. I do want to point out, if you look over in your console screen, that during the Stellar sharpening, you'll see a bunch of blank lines. It appears to be just a glitch within the Python script itself. So it'll probably be corrected in a future version of it, but it doesn't affect the functionality of the sharpening tool. So just disregard it for now. It's just a cosmetic thing. So at this point, we'll just click the close button and we'll do some before and after. So let me zoom up here on the bodes a little bit and we'll undo the sharpening so you can see the before and then the after. You can, you can see because we did both, it sharpened not only the stars, but also the galaxies that were within the image. So again, there's before and there's after. So let's go back to a fit view and jump into our denoising script. So again, scripts, Python scripts, Cosmic Clarity denoise. Again, we need to specify our executable for the first time that we run it. So we're gonna browse out to my SETI Astro folder, Cosmic Clarity, and this executable is called SETI Astro Cosmic Clarity denoise. So double click it, and you have two denoise modes, luminance or full. Luminance will just denoise the luminance channel, and full is for the RG and B channels. So generally, in my testing anyways, full is what I've always been using for the color. You can play with just doing the luminance. Again, you know, it's, it's up to you. Test your data, see which one gives you the best results. But again, since it's color, I'm going to do full. If this was a mono image, this option really doesn't matter, obviously because mono does not have an R, G, and B channel, so it'll always do luminance regardless of what you have selected. Use GPU, same thing with the sharpening. If you have a GPU, it'll use that. Clear input directory, same conversation we had with the sharpening tool that'll clear your input directory. And then we have our denoise strength. Defaults to 0.5. Again, play with the slider, see what gives you the best results. Once you have everything in place, just click apply and wait for it to run. So I'm going to pause the video once again, and we'll be right back. Okay, denoise is completed, so I'm just going to close the script. And again, we'll zoom up just a little bit. This is the after, and this is before. Again, before, and then after. Now, you may notice that, again, this is the before, and this is the after. And it does look a little blotchy. 
and that's what I wanted to talk about next. So what's happening here is the auto stretch view, the algorithm to stretch your image just in a view, right? It's not affecting the data. There's a lot of variables that come into play when that runs. When you do a denoise, for example, this auto stretch tends to be way overdone. So the image doesn't look that great necessarily. Um, sometimes it may even seem to look better before the denoising, but that's not the case. And if we come into linear and then started doing our stretching, I'll jump over to GHS here real quick. And you'll see as you start to stretch that the data looks a lot better. And I'm just going to overstretch this a little bit so you guys can see it. But the data looks a lot better than it did in that auto stretch view. So a similar thing can happen with Graxpert's denoise too. And if you've been using the denoising in Graxpert, you know what I'm talking about. Before we had the integration and even with the integration now, but if you ran your image through denoise in Graxpert and then brought it into Cyril, it it looked real blotchy. It looked, it just looked really horrible. But again, that's just the auto stretch view. It's not what the data looks like. So just don't be concerned with it. Actually, Frank from SETI Astro put a video together last year that explains exactly what's going on. And I'll leave that link down in the description as well. Uh, so you have a better understanding of what I'm talking about here. But again, just want to make you guys aware of it. So I'll come back into auto stretch and reset our view. So at this point in time, like I said, I'd be ready for the rest of my workflow. I prefer to do my sharpening and denoising when I'm still in a linear state. But like I mentioned before, you can also use the sharpening and the denoising after you stretch. So your data is in a non-linear state. Up to you. You have that option. So whichever way gives you the best results, go ahead and run with it. Now, if we come back over into our output directory for Cosmic Clarity, this is what I was talking about, right? We did a sharpening. And then we did a denoise and it created both files for me. The script gives you no way of cleaning this output directory out. So again, over time, you'll have files built up over here. And you can see for me, each of these are 300 megabyte in size. So it's going to add up quick. So keep an eye on your output directory. Uh, the input, you always have one left from the last run. But the next time you run it, as long as you tick that box to clear the input directory, it'll delete this file before it creates the next one. So one last thing I want to cover is just some troubleshooting. I haven't had any issues running the Python scripts. But just in case you do, like I said, the scripts aren't doing the work. They're just calling out to the Cosmic Clarity suite to do the sharpening and denoising for us. So let's first, I'm going to undo what we have in the image here. And then I'm going to go into my input folder for Cosmic Clarity, and I'm going to delete the TIFF file that's in there. So if after you've downloaded Cosmic Clarity and you've configured the scripts and pointed them to where the executable is, if you're getting any kind of an error message or things just don't appear to be working right, a good way to test it is to test Cosmic Clarity outside of Cyril. And what you can do is, like I have here, open up an image. So we'll come over and we'll click our Save button. We're going to save the current image as a TIFF and I'm going to browse over to my Cosmic Clarity folder. So Astrophotography, SETI Astro, Cosmic Clarity, and then my input directory. And we're going to save this TIFF file into that input directory, 16 or 32 bit. It supports both. Click save. Yes, we know we're in linear, so we're going to say save anyways. Now we're going to come back and we're going to run Cosmic Clarity, Sharpen, and Denoise as a standalone program. So if I go back to my Cosmic Clarity folder, scroll down to SETI Astro Cosmic Clarity, this is our sharpening, and just double click it. We'll get a little window that pops up with pretty much the same settings that we saw in Cyril, and just click Submit. You'll see everything in the command window that it's doing, verify that it works. If you see the same error that you're seeing in Cyril, then you know it's a Cosmic Clarity issue. If it's working in Cosmic Clarity, but it's not working in Cyril, then something in Cyril is going on, whether you don't have it configured correctly, or maybe you came across a possible bug. Like I said, it's been working, but I just wanted to show you guys, this is how you can test Cosmic Clarity sharpening and denoising as standalone applications outside of Cyril. I won't run through the denoise piece, but it's the same thing. Once this gets done, I would just come down and double click my denoise. And again, we'll be presented with a little window with our settings, and I would just hit submit. 
So same way that we did with the sharpening, just a, a, a quick and easy way to test to make sure everything is working. So these two Cosmic Clarity scripts shows how powerful this new Python environment is going to be for us users of Cyril. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other scripts put forth by not only the Cyril developers, but other Python programmers out there as well. As always, before we go, I just want to say thanks to all my members here on YouTube and on buymeacoffee.com. I appreciate everybody's support. Thanks to all of you that take the time to watch my videos and like them and leave comments and share and subscribe it's all very much appreciated this channel wouldn't be where it's at without you guys so that's a wrap for this one we'll see you on the next video in clear skies